Hey you guys, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger! So, we're continuing in the factory today. If you remember in the last episode, we left off at the save point right there. And we are making our return to the basement. <coughs> you guys remember the passcode from the last episode? So let's go down. Triangle, circle, X, square. So we'll go ahead and grab us a plasma gun. We don't have Jesse with us, so we can't do anything with that just yet. Door lock systems, A, B, operational, enter, password. Triangle, circle, X, square. The door opens up. Take a little walk around, just for the sake of walking around. And we flip the switch. There we go. <coughs> Emergency security system has gone haywire. It must escape immediately. And we out! <laughs> uh. That's so sick. I love how his armor opens up like that. Let's get out of here. Oh, bees. Th these are my friends. <laughs> R-64Y, R-67Y, and R-69Y, good to see you. <laughs> Let's get out of What are you doing? You are defective. You have been tainted. Pardon? I'm malfunctioning? Affirmative. A defect. I'm, I'm a defect. Have you forgotten your mission? All intruders must be eliminated. That was my purpose? You shame us. You must be destroyed. Hey! Hey! No, stop. These are my brothers. No! Mouse! Ouch! Mouse is getting whipped! No, stop. These are my brothers. You get your hands off of him! Ah! Stop. Please. No! Ah. Ugh. Ugh. Mouse! Now to take care of the intruders. You cocky boxes of bolts, you'll never get away with this. Arrgh. Cyclone. Two versus six. Arrgh. Good old counterattack's gonna help out in this fight. Ooh, yeah, you dead. Let's oops, let's cyclone the other group. Ow! Rocket punch me. Yeah, counterattack. Cyclone! Ooh, you'll 
finished. Ah, uh, uh. counterattack it was not but you're still gonna die so if we level up mouse they trashed him oh what what should, what should we do mouse just got creamed Ash, let's take him back to Jesse. Eh. Pull him this way. And then we pull him this way. Eh. Come on, man. Push. Can you re re repair me? Shh, don't talk. You are trying to save our world. I don't know how far we'll get, but that's the plan. Anyway, Mouse, what are you going to do when you're repaired? What am I going to do? <coughs> yeah, I mean, what plans do you have for the future? Jesse, no one has ever asked me that before. Good morning. Mouse, you're alright. Jesse, you're incredible. I hope I never have to do that again. Jesse, I've made up my mind. I want to go with you. <laughs> Pardon? <coughs> There's nothing left for me here. Together, maybe we can give this planet of ours a chance. Then let's go. The gate's up ahead. Hell yeah. Aw, yeah. Hang on to your shorts. You bet. Ooh. Clearly something went wrong there when we were entering that time portal. Kingdom, circa 1000 AD. I come from 2300 AD. When four or more beings step into a time warp, the conservation of time theorem states that they will turn up at the space time coordinates of least resistance. Here, disturbances in the space time continuum have increased recently. Far too many folks are just popping up in here. I fear something is having a powerful effect on the very fabric of time. Which means one of us has to remain here. Stay here alone. It is pretty bleak here. But not to worry, all time periods connect here. You can visit your friends whenever you wish, but you can never travel in groups greater than three. So one of us must stay. Who will it be, Ash? Okay, so anybody in their right mind would probably want to put Mouse on their team because he's incredibly strong, has a crap ton of HP, and doesn't have to wait to learn magic, but this is actually where you learn magic, so we need to keep our elemental characters in order to learn magic. Please come for me whenever you need me. So there you have it. Don't forget, press the square button to switch party members. How do we get back to our time? You see those lovely pillars of light? Those hook you up to different eras. Once you've been through a gate, you can always use it to come here. 
To use the gate from here, step into the light and press the X button. But beware the gate which leads from that bucket. Okay. So this little thing here restores my HP MP. Clearly that's a save point right there. Robo just chills here, or mouse whenever we uh, want to switch characters we can, or I can just press square to change characters at any time. <clears throat> this thing right here will actually allow me to fight the last boss right now. As I said earlier, I think it was in the first or second episode, that there are like 12 different endings to this game. Uh, because you can travel through time in the game, you can basically fight the last boss whenever you want. You can actually fight the last boss in the first six minutes of the game. Not even kidding you, so... Hey, the old man said. Don't be in such a rush. Before you go, take a peek inside the room behind me. Okay. So, we are going to make sure our HP and MP is restored. Definitely get a quick game save going on. This is one of the toughest battles in the game, and you can fight this guy at a bunch of different stages. Yes, he is a Poyozo, <laughs> for now. He changes uh, to different uh, animals in the game the farther you get. What are you looking at? I'm Speccio, the master of war. I've seen all kinds of battles from here. How do I look to you guys? Strong. I see. Let's put it this way. If you're strong, I look strong. If you're weak, I look weak. You are strong of will. That's why the old one let you through. Long before you were born, there was a kingdom where magic flourished. Everyone there could use it. But in time, people began to abuse their powers. It got so bad that no one was allowed to use magic except wizards. But you have it. Determination, I mean. Magic needs power of the heart. It needs inner strength. Magic is divided into four types. Lightning, fire, water, and shadow. You, with the punk hairdo, you're lightning. The one with the ponytail is water. And the one with the goofy glasses is fire. Not just magic, but everything is based on the balance of these four powers. Think magic, and starting from the door, walk clockwise along the walls of my room three times. Don't lose track now. Okay, so starting at the door, we walk around the room. La la, la la, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. One. Two. Three. Very good. It's the Minimo Magico. Ah, yeah. Ash learns to use magic. Sophie learns to use magic. Jesse learns to use the most badass magic in the whole damn game. <laughs> so, fortified with magic, want to try it out? Of course we do. This is an extremely tough battle. As I said before, you basically have to fight him really slow. Take your time. And now we can actually do stuff like lightning. Ow. So we'll get that going. Ah. No! I'm gonna lose that turn. Yep. No! My fingers. My fingers aren't listening to the. trying to get itself in there. You can clearly see uh, he gets turns very, very fast. We'll get a mid tonic. Ah, we're gonna keep her. I will use her turn. Okay. No! Uh. Get a revive. Tonic. 
please survive. No. No, it's all falling through, guys. <laughs> uh, let's get the tonic on Ash. Please hit Ash. Yes. This gives me a chance to attack. No, 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 no. Oops. Only two more revives. I've got to kill him really fast. Fly, 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 fly. No. Uh, I'm dead. Unless I can kill him with this fire. No! <laughs> yeah, he's super strong. I can't remember if we keep the items that we used. Yes, we do. Okay, I'll, I couldn't remember if it allowed you to keep the items that you use in his fight or not. And no, you cannot get a game over uh, against Specchio. Uh, but you do get some wicked awesome stuff if you end up beating him, which is the whole point of fighting him. So we're gonna go lightning right off the bat. Boom Chakalaga. Catch a fire and a mid tonic for Sophie. Hopefully, he doesn't hit Sophia right here. Good, he hits Ash. Who is then going to heal himself? <coughs> no, what did I do there? I'm not sure if I did ice there or not. Let's get a mid tonic up for Ash. I don't know if I used ice there or not. Dang, I used aura. No! I don't know if that, that will work on him, actually. Might as well try it. Nope, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> that costed me Jesse right there. That might have actually just costed me the match right there. Come on, bring her back to life so I can toss some mintonic on her. Or you know what, actually? Because it's my turn still. Ice. Yes. Yes, yes, hit Sophie. <laughs> I know I set two revives there, but I wasn't sure who he was going to hit. Now Sophie's dead. No, it's all over. Unless I can get this fire out right now and win. <laughs> This is how hard it is to beat Spacchio, man. It's like last, last ditch effort and stuff. And that's that. Oh, Spacchio is so strong. <laughs> oh, we gonna get it. I can always set the battle mode to wait and get an easy victory. Let's go lightning. Oh. I wish Sophie and Jesse were a little bit faster. Let's give him that. Let's do ice.
down. looks in this game. So friggin' awesome. No, Sophie. We got our fire, though. <coughs> Trying to do damage this round. Let's get that revive. He's probably dead. Yep, my luck. My luck. Uh, it's over. I can fight with revives all day long and still lose. Yep. <laughs> God, I hate Specky, oh man. It's because his speed is insane. Let's see, but if you go here. Uh, where is it? Battle mode, wait. Now I actually, like, get a millisecond to do something. <laughs> Look at that, man. Gets his technique off, like, immediately. Cannot hit Speccio uh, with physical attacks. He has to be hit with magic only. Antipode! Antipode is one of the most powerful moves in the game. Grr, that was most embarrassing. Hiram, don't make a habit of this. Here, this is for you. Received Speccio Special Refresher Set. <laughs> Got one magic tab and five ethers. I am the master of war. Whew, sometimes I scare myself. Okay. Get me out of this door. <laughs> People who lived long ago all enjoyed such powers. Now I know you're itching to go ripping back and forth through time, but first you need to return to your own era. And you must hurry. The longer you remain here, the harder it will be to change that with which must be changed. Stop by whenever you're in the area. Yep. So now anytime I use a time warp, like a, a gate, uh, I'll end up here and... This big square eventually fills up with these things, which are the gates. So this one brings me to Medina Village in 1080. 
This one brings me to where we came from, Proto Dome in 2300. And this one brings me to the Mystic Mountain in 65 million BC. <laughs> yes, when dinosaurs ruled the Earth. So, those are the three places that we can go right now. Eventually, like I said, that whole thing fills up with all different portals and you can go to all different places, all different time zones and stuff. Uh, eventually when you get the time machine, that's where, that's what this little staircase leads to. Uh, so when you do eventually get the time machine, you can board your time machine right here at this little staircase. And like I said, this is to go fight the last boss. That gate leads to 1999, it leads to the day of Lavos. Go there only if you're looking to achieve a shorter lifespan. Lavos will help you leave this mortal coil, and that is not a joke. Um, just for kicks, as I'm doing my outro here, I will show you guys what it looks like to fight Lavos. Yep. We are literally about to go fight the last boss right now. <laughs> I am going to get my ass, like, folded, um, packaged, okay, gift wrapped, signed, and then, like, delivered to my house at no extra cost. Like, that's what's about to happen to my ass. He, he's going to do all that to my ass in, like, a span of a millisecond. I'm probably not even going to get one shot off on him. I'll try. <laughs> what? No way. Well, <laughs> chewing on ice, if you can hear that noise. Um, my drink has, uh, has emptied itself, <laughs> and all I'm left with is ice. Uh, so yeah, man, uh, thank you guys for watching the video. This is, and yes, this is the actual last boss of the game, Lavos. It's stupid to fight him right now. I just wanted to show you guys how funny it is. Ash, what should we do? <laughs> fight or run away from now? Yeah! You're right! For Doan and the others too! Ours was a short youth! <laughs> we are about to die. Lavos enters attack mode. So basically, Lavos uh, takes the form of some of the bosses in the game. I couldn't remember if it was just him in the battle, uh, or um, or if he was going to do his ten set uh, things that he does there. So yeah, he has ten modes that he goes through. And then you fight, like, him, like him himself. It's a pretty crazy fight. video is probably going to cut out because it's going to take a cut. I forgot that he has the 10 uh, set. Are you, you know what? I forgot about the old Square Enix trick, baby. I forgot that you could uh, reset the game, reset any Square Enix or Square Soft game with the controller. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, so here, um, let's go ahead and load. No system file. Oh yeah, so the default extras, theater, music box. Uh, I was trying to look at how many endings there were because I know you can look at the endings in the default e in the extras. 
Um, but yeah, um, thank you guys for coming by and watching this episode of Chrono Trigger, and uh, as always, I hope you have a freaking wicked awesome day, and I will see you guys in the next one, where we will finally be able to return to our, our own time and get home through this gate right here that goes to Medina Village in 1080, same era that we're all from, just in a different village that we've never seen before, so, yeah man, I'll see you all again in the next one, bye bye!